And that's what we're doing right here on this program. We invited voicetoday.org to be here. Angela Williams is here, and Tom Scales, executive director, was on. And now we have another partner uh, like Cornet Ministries and Voice Today, and and uh, what and this lady here, Linda uh, Michelle Trainer. Yes. Yes. And and the name of your organization is? It's Elegant Doves International. Elegant Doves International. Yes. And yes. now you have partnered because it's just like you and I just talked. You said, I can't do this by myself. We cannot. We cannot. And we've got to all take each other's hand and say, hey, let's join together because there's strength in numbers. Yes. Praise there God. Is. It is. It's almost like the body. The hand cannot do what the leg can do. The eye can't do what the ears can do. But together as a whole body, they function in the optimum design that God has created us. That's right. It's not about competition. It's about the commission and Christ yes. when it comes to partnering. God is so phenomenal in his love and in his gifts. I was reminded this morning of how um, David could not wear King Saul's armor. Mm -hmm. God had gifted him with the slingshot and the mm -hmm. rock, and he went out and he did the, the mission that was needed. And God has joined Angela and I together um, as sisters, first of all, in Christ, yes. as um, survivors and encouragers, because I've also gone through uh, incest abuse. And, right? But God has used this female, this sister, and this ministry in phenomenal ways. Mm -hmm. God has commissioned me to help women and teen girls that have experienced incest, abuse, and post-abortion trauma, but I can't do it by myself. Yes. And when I saw what Angela and Voice Today was doing, um, it was just a natural fit. Mm -hmm. I've been mentored by uh, Atlanta Community Ministries, which teaches people. They help me form what God had given me. And their mission is to teach people to get out of their seats and into the streets. Right. So it's just part of a natural form for me. Mm -hmm. uh, God has blessed me also to work as a flight attendant. So I'm all over the, the world, literally. Hey, God man. is using me. But I still cannot do what he's commissioned me to do, um, breaking the generational cycles. My sister is doing it. Mm -hmm. She's doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. But yet, God has given her different tools and different talents and gifts that she can teach me. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing to hear Pastor Al say that one of the workshops, the, the most impactful one for him, was the Internet safety. I taught that. I facilitated <laughs> that. And it was amazing. The seeds that God allows us to plant yes. into His kingdom mm -hmm. will reach far and wide. If we're just looking at ourselves and what we can do for us mm -hmm. or who's going to get the headline, right. it's not going to be the a glory. mess. Who's going to get the glory? It's He's God. He's going to get the glory. It has to be His. And He doesn't share His glory with anyone. And nobody's shoes are big enough to walk in them anyway. Mm -hmm. It is impossible. We all have our lane. Yes. And I know my lane. And God has just brought different tools in this sister to allow me to move even faster in that lane. Amen. Helping the women and children and teen girls that are out there. And there's so many. There's so many. And I just want to say, Linda has been such an encourager for me. On those days where I feel like, I don't know if I can eat this elephant today. Yeah. Or the stories are so burdensome sometimes when they come and I have to keep laying them at the cross. Because mm -hmm. you hurt mm -hmm. when people hurt. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, I yes. say that I really don't have any tears left for myself, but I have mm -hmm. plenty of tears left mm -hmm. for the stories that I hear. Mm -hmm. And I get an, an encouraging email from Linda mm -hmm. or I get a phone call and just her peaceful presence. I don't yes. know if you've noticed that. Yes. But mm -hmm. she has brought that peaceful presence into mm -hmm. my life and just ushered that spirit of the Lord, which he wants us to be at perfect peace at all times. Yes, he does. And I'm sort of the tornado sometimes in the storm. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't really say that I'm always the perfect <laughs> peace. I try to be, okay. but... Um, but she has just such a healing presence. And that, to me, is such a beautiful uh, tool to bring mm -hmm. into voice mm -hmm. and in her walk. And I see her walk is so faithful. Mm -hmm. And God has brought so many. But she is just such a special friend because mm -hmm. she has always, always shared the vision and shared whatever platform she's had. Mm -hmm. And I try to do the same. Yes, and absolutely. I just was telling you before the show we came back on, who in ministry calls you and says, I have an eight-foot table at this conference. They're sold out, but I'm going to move my stuff over, and I want you to have four feet for you to display your uh, material. Well, that's the Christian spirit. That's the way it should be. It's the way it it's, should be. It's not ours. It's God. And it's, mm. it's God. It all right. belongs to Him. Right. And what I don't have that um, 
energy. I thought I was energetic. <laughs> Angela has, and I'm sure you've seen that over in Bulgaria. Oh, yeah. she, that transforms over to me. She's contagious. Her mm -hmm. passion is contagious. Yes, it we is. have the same love and the same passion, but at different levels. Right. And so what we're, we're encouraging we each other. Each we're complimenting other. each you other. Do. We're encouraging each other. Like Pastor Al said, mm -hmm. um, the scripture in his ring, we are encouraging each other. Mm -hmm. And we need to do that as ministries. We need to come together and not look at, again, who's going to get the glory. Mm -hmm. It all belongs to God. There are too many people out there hurting. Yes. This program is being aired on the heels of the announcement um, of a prominent um, producer, yes. Tyler Perry. Yes. You know, and what struck me in that interview was that he stayed silent because he didn't want to hurt his mother. He did not want to hurt his mother. There are so many mothers out there that are going through the same thing that we've gone through yes. that need to open your mouth, take the, your hands off of your eyes so that you can see what's going on because it's not only hurting you to stay in that place of anger, to stay in that place of shame, to stay in that place of fear. It's affecting your children. Praise God, he works all things together for good. Right. The testimony that came out of Tyler Perry's life is phenomenal. But even through all of that, he has been, he mentioned that he was healing himself. God was healing him through what he was doing. Amen. God Before works he's in doing. us. The mission that he's given us, we have to work in. He's healing him through and breaking his silence. Mm -hmm. That's, That's what's healing. And um, I do want to speak to mothers out there who maybe you have adult children that have been sexually abused. Maybe you have a child, a, a minor child that's been sexually abused. Um, quit wallowing in the guilt. You need to love that child. Yes. You need to accept the truth. Mm -hmm. And you need to take that to God. And you need to get professional help. There is a lot of professional help. There are child advocacy centers which can help walk you through this. 90% of the time, it is someone the child knows, loves, and trusts. So chances mm -hmm. are, it's someone that the family, the parents know, love, and trust. Mm -hmm. But this is a crime. You have to call. You have to get help. You have to report it. And honestly, that perpetrator needs help. That right. abuser does not want to stay in that place. That is a horrible place to be, Absolutely. to have that evil just infest your life. Mm -hmm. So they need help. So you're really doing them a great service right. by doing the right thing. And, and the right bringing, thing is justice and accountability. And Absolutely. bringing them to a point of decision yes. and an end. And into know, it. Because when the call is made, their life is turned around. Yes. And that's when God can begin to work with Amen. them. So Amen. actually when you don't call and when you don't uh, address the problem, yes. you are are adding to the problem. You're an accomplice. You yes, are accomplice. continuing the problem. You That's perpetrate. It. You continue mm -hmm. the cycle. Mm -hmm. You know, we mm -hmm. talk a lot about breaking our silence, but we are into breaking the cycle, and this is a yes. part of breaking the cycle. Yes. So as a mother, it is your responsibility to nurture and protect and take care of your mm -hmm. child. Mm -hmm. And it's your responsibility to give that guilt to God and let Him work through you. He will work through this situation to His glory. Mm -hmm. You can't see it in the storm, but you'll see it on the other side. Mm -hmm. And you'll be happy that you did the right thing, that you didn't cover it up, that you didn't stay in this uh, place of denial, that you did the right mm -hmm. thing for your child, because mm -hmm. your child's depending on you. That's mm -hmm. right. And even as an adult child, my mother has just come to terms with my abuse. Wow. I'm 45 years old. Wow. And she's just now come to terms with it, but it has turned our relationship around mm -hmm. because now she believes me. I don't, I'm not in a relationship mm -hmm. where I feel like I have done something horrible and something mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. um, she's accepting the truth of what has happened. And that yeah. takes a lot of courage. Yeah. It, it does. takes a lot of courage. But yeah. we're rebuilding. Mm -hmm. God is restoring. Right. God is restoring yes. what the enemy yes. meant for evil. Absolutely. That's right. God Absolutely. means for good. All things work together for All good. Things All things together. work together for those And one thing that. that I do also want to encourage the mothers to do, to love yourself. Yes. Mm. Don't forget about loving yourselves. Um, God gave me the an uh, acronym of C. Surrender your pain to Him. He's the only one that can really help. Extend your hand to receive the healing that He has for you and expect a change. Expect to be healed. He, his promises are new every, new every morning. His mm -hmm. mercies are new every morning and His promises cannot come back to Him void. Mm -hmm. It is possible. The help is there. One other thing that I would like to also mention to um, pastors and other ministries. I was abused by an uncle from age um, 10 to age 16. I went to a Baptist church up in Pontiac, Michigan, and every single solitary Sunday during that abuse, right after the invitation for salvation, they had a prayer uh, request. 
call, an altar call. I was there every Sunday. I was crying. I was uh, agonized in pain, bent over the altar, and nobody asked me why. Mm. Nobody asked me why. The training and the tools that we have through voice and what God is implementing with Elegant Doves and, uh, and Cornet Ministries and everything, they are tools. Love yourself. Stand up. I was listening to Antonia. Um, she went to uh, Oral Roberts University. God told me to go to Oral Roberts University, but I didn't because I allowed the fear to stand in my way. God has not given us a spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but of power and of love and a sound mind. Mm -hmm. And receive that power right now and walk through, be encouraged, walk through the fear, do it afraid, mm -hmm. not only for yourself, but for your children too. I just want to say that as a child, you were very fearful, and I understand that fear. For 14 years, there was not a safe place in my home. There was no place to go. So that fear, you're conditioned to have that fear. You have got to make a conscious decision that God is going to come in, and He is going to protect you now. Mm -hmm. And you've got to let go of that fear. You've got to release that fear to walk in victory. And that's where God wants you. He wants yes. you walking in victory. And breaking your silence yes. is the way to get there. Amen. Angela, you are now with me with the last part of the hour here and um, I wanted us to talk well, first of all tell me about this white suit every time I see you speak you have on white before I tell you about my white suit I'm going to tell you how grateful I am for you no don't say that we don't I need am. to hear that for your mentorship for opening the door to our global mission I just want to thank you I am so grateful for you and well, what a blessing you are not just to me but in the kingdom and for so many so I know your viewers need to hear that. They need to hear. They <laughs> well, see you here on TV in this chair. They don't see you on the streets of Bulgaria, on the dirt <laughs> paved roads and all that you give and all that you do. So I, wish I love I you. I could bring all them. I wish I could bring all these people there that do know me and, and know what we do. Uh, I'd like to bring all of y'all in my suitcase and let you see because like uh, Angela was just saying, it's just so different uh, yes. over there, and you just got get got to where the rubber meets the road, as yeah. we say, and yep. and you're out there on dirt roads, and we're out there praying uh, yes. and, and prayer walks and all that things because of the things that are going on there. Yes. But you got to tell me about the white suit before we start. Okay. Well, this is a billboard. This is a, a billboard, billboard for light and for innocence. And my prayer is that the voice movement will spread throughout the world. And there will be a day where everybody stands up and wears white and stands for the innocence of a child mm. and has the courage to protect a child, has the courage to step in and do the right thing, mm -hmm. has the courage to, uh, to honestly fight this evil head on. Mm -hmm. Head and on. So, head on. It. So every time I'm on an appearance or I speak or I talk, um, and when I'm on mission for a child, you'll see me in yeah. white. Yes, so, that's right. And I think colors have, have definitely taken on causes. Pink, obviously, for the breast cancer movement. Yes, and red uh, for AIDS and heart disease. And so white is our color for the voice movement. Mm -hmm. So I just want to encourage uh, our viewers, if you uh, put on a white tablecloth, a white t-shirt, a white blouse, a white handkerchief, take a white Kleenex. Think about what you have done to protect a child. Think mm -hmm. about how you can apply some of the, what you've heard and hopefully go on our website at voicetoday.org and, and learn more about how you can protect a child. Right. And Angela, you know, when the Lord spoke to me a year, well, it will be two years ago now, mm -hmm. while I was standing before that group that's from Obroster State, mm -hmm. which are some of my high-risk children, the yes. most high-risk. And you saw where they lived. I remember. In fact, mm -hmm. you saw what was coming down when we were in the the neighborhood over there. Yes. I carried you through that and I said, oh God, I, we better turn around. I said, there's something coming down here, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's always something happening over there. But I ride through those streets and those kids know me and they run after the car I and I have to stop, you know, I don't want to hit them and they just run to the car, you know, wanting to see me and talk to me. But uh, the Lord spoke to me as I was looking in their eyes. Uh, Year, two years ago and I stood there and I started crying because I saw the pain and I felt the pain that they were experiencing and so I began to uh, to talk to them and tell them I love them but that Jesus loved them more mm -hmm. and then after it was all over and done I couldn't stop crying mm -hmm. and I started telling my staff I said something has to happen here mm 
Mm -hmm. I said, God's wanting to do something. We've got to train these children, and we've got to train the parents mm -hmm. because they are ignorant to what's happening here, mm -hmm. and they don't understand. And so I began to pray, and I said, Lord, show me what to do. Well, I'd ask other people. I, I'd ask uh, at least five people I ask for them to research and to go on and help me to find materials and so and so on. And nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I couldn't believe it. And then one day, I got introduced to you. And it was uh, one week before I was leaving for Bulgaria. And I you? met you. And so and so you were there. And uh, uh, the rest is the for history to, to record down as an awakening for that country and for our area. And uh, you made a big difference in that country. And you didn't know, and I didn't know how we were going to do anything. No. We went in completely open to the Holy Spirit teaching us how to teach them. And uh, so it all happened, and it was an anointed time. And uh, I will never be the same, and neither will our people there, all of the people. And the people in the church, I didn't even have any idea the people there yes. that had been affected. But when you gave your testimony, they began to pour out their heart mm -hmm. and they opened up their heart. Yes. Many, many women and men, and men. were set free yes. from that darkness. I left so, my heart in Bulgaria. I, I can't wait to get back there. <laughs> and I just want to speak to the obedience. You know, God doesn't call the equip. He equips the call. Right. And all he wants is a willing vessel, an mm -hmm. obedient vessel, somebody to say, yes, God. Mm -hmm. When I sat in, in that conference room and you said, I need someone to go, my heart leapt and God said, go. Immediately he said, go. And, you know, of course, our flesh wants to argue with God. Well, I don't have the money to go, God. I don't have the resources to go. I don't have the materials to go. You know, I've never, I don't even hardly know where Bulgaria is on the map. Mm -hmm. But God said, go. And it was so funny. I went back and that week, people were like, you're going where? And, you know, just, you're going to do what? <laughs> and I just knew I was supposed to go. And God began to lay the message on my heart that these children, God loves all children. It does not Everywhere matter in the world. where they are in the world. We are called to protect these children. And God said, you've got to go teach them that they're cherished. Their bodies are precious. Right. That sex, what the world wants to teach our children about sex mm -hmm. and all of the content that they are bombarded with, the filth, mm -hmm. that that is not God's plan, that is not God's way. So he just said, go and teach my word. Go teach what I say about sex, what it's for, in the confounds of marriage, for pleasure and procreation between a married couple. The institution of marriage is, is flying out the window. And it's so sad. And these children don't know. They model what they see. Right. And to teach adults, to teach those sweet Bulgarian people that if someone wants to come and pay you for their child to go work, mm -hmm. you know, their child may end up on the streets of Atlanta, right. which Atlanta is, um, I hear it's number one, then I hear it's mm -hmm. in the top three for child trafficking. Right. We've got to do something about that. Right. That's a pitiful reputation for Atlanta to have. It is. It's pitiful. So we've got to do something. We've got to educate that we have to bring that awareness and bring that education that you don't receive $1,000 and think your child's going for a better life. Mm -hmm. We've got one minute left for the end of the program. Oh, and, my goodness. And so in one minute, tell us voicetoday.org. Please join the voice movement. Please help us. We can't do this alone. We need ministries to join us. We need churches. We need mm -hmm. the church of God. We mm -hmm. need God's people to stand up and to fight this evil with us. Mm -hmm. So join the voice movement. Go to voicetoday.org. Email us. Call us. Um, and break your silence and heal and commit 